in this video you will see the predicted phenotype as well as traits, illnesses and GED match results of two ancient individuals from Ghaznavid era Afghanistan. Although the Ghaznavid leaders were of Turkic origin, the individuals presented in this video represent the Iranic stock of the Afghan nation and not the Turkic nobility. When talking about Iranic stock, you are essentially talking about a mixture of Sintashta in the European steppe herders with indigenous Central Asian farmers of BMAC culture and Indus Valley civilization locals. The dominant ancestral component in these Ghaznavid individuals is Sintashta. Sintashta was autosomally closest to modern Northern Europeans, but is not ancestral to Northern Europeans, meaning modern Northern Europeans do not have Sintashta ancestry, they just happen to resemble them. This is the first individual. Uh, code gen predicts for him mitochondrial DNA U or K, which are most common in, I think, Europe. And his Y DNA is RZ645. Uh, here you can see the map where RZ645 is most common in. It is the parent clade of RZ93, which pretty much every single uh, person in Tajikistan and Afghanistan who has R1A has this subclade, so you can assume that this individual also had this subclade. With my Nashakotu, he's predicted to have either green or brown eyes. Now, actually, my AKAT 3.2 uh, tool is predicting him to have green eyes, whereas Nashakot is predicting him to have brown eyes, so there's a little bit of a disagreement there. Uh, however, he's also predicted to have blonde hair, Greek-shaped nose, which is why I depicted him with blonde hair and Greek-shaped nose. And he is predicted to have curly hair at 56% at 50%, uh, which is also why I depicted him as having curly hair. And on the right, you see the prediction that Ysec gave for this guy. Um, now, Ysec prediction is completely deranged. I don't think anybody nowadays is looking like this. And an interesting piece of trivia is that this guy had two derived alleles in BH2 mutation, which means that if he took a 23andMe, it would predict him to have blue eyes. His genotype in DRD2 was quite typical for South Asians and basically all non-Europeans. Um, in the Pro319 Pro SNP, he had uh, GG, which means he had higher risk of schizophrenia. Uh, definitely was not a no-go learner and had a higher amount of dopamine D2 receptors. He did not have derived OXTR, which is the closest we have to the sociopath gene, so no sociopath gene for him. He also did not have derived EDAR, which is a gene implicated in mongoloid or East Asian facial features, so he probably did not have mongoloid, no East Asian facial features. He did not have the European lactose persistence mutation, which means he was likely intolerant to lactose. When it comes to polygenic illnesses, he had an above average genetic risk for Crohn's disease, an above average genetic risk for coronary heart disease. He had an above average, slightly above average risk for Parkinson's disease. Uh, he had a very, very much above average, in fact, very high risk for bipolar disorder and a pretty low, slightly below average risk for schizophrenia. Here is his results with Eurogenes K13. Now notice how he's scoring 8% uh, North Atlantic and 11% Baltic. This is basically Northern European admixture that he had. With the oracle for Eurogenes K13, he's closest to Pashtuns, and he can be modeled as a mixture of Tabasarans and Lesgins, which are people in northeast of Caucasus, with Chamar people, which are South Asian people. Here's his result with MDLPK16. Now you might just look at this and say that he's only got 13% step, but you're wrong because you have to add up the step plus the Neolithic plus the Northeast European plus a little bit of Caucasian, and you're gonna get around a third of Aryan or Sintashta ancestry. With the single way oracle for this calculator, he's closest to people from Badakhshan and Tajiks. And with the mixed mode oracle, he's actually getting modeled as a mixture of Pashtuns and some European groups like Danes, Germans, Scottish, Irish. Uh, I think this is because he had more Northern European or Sintashta-like ancestry uh, than the average Pashtun today. This is his result and oracle for Harappa World Calculator. Here he is closest to Pashtuns, uh, Tajiks and Haryana Jats. And he can be modeled as a mixture of Pashtuns with some Northern European white or British or French or Hungarian or Arcadian, basically a little bit of Northern European ancestry, more Northern European or Sintashta ancestry than the average Pashtun today. This is his result with Gedrosia K3. Here he scores basically uh, three quarters West Eurasian or Caucasoid and one quarter East Eurasian or Mongoloid ancestry. 
And this is what he scores with Ancient Eurasia K6. Notice how much Ancestral North Eurasian uh, he's getting. This is the component that links basically Europeans, South Central Asians, South Asians, and Native Americans together because all three of these groups have ancestry from these Ancestral North Eurasians. And according to the Oracle, he's closest to Tajiks, Pashtuns, Patans, Kalash in that order. And uh, this is the results of the official G25 sample that I found on Explore Your DNA. It is closest to Pashtuns from northern Afghanistan. It is also pretty close to Tajiks from um, Ishkashim Tajiks. And it has quite a lot of European admixture because uh, you see when you model it with ancient components, it scores 30.2% Yamnea and 11% Neolithic Barsin from Turkey. If you add those two components together, and those are European components, if you add, add them up together, you get 40% European admixture. Now let's move on to the second person. He is also a guy. Uh, his Y DNA is J2A. Uh, the subclade is L24, and his mitochondrial DNA is H13A2, which I determined with code gen. This is a map of where J2 L24 is the most common in. Uh, you can see it's kind of most frequent in North Africa and Iran, but it's also found in like France and spots of Uzbekistan and India. A uh, very interesting haplogroup. Here is his predicted phenotype with Nashakot. Nashakot is predicting him to have dark brown eyes, a uh, snub nose, unlike the, the previous person who had a prediction for Greek nose, and black hair, unlike the previous person who had the prediction for blonde hair, and also straight hair. Now, uh, you can see with Ysek, Ysek is predicting him to have very dark skin. Ysek is making him look very, very black. Uh, but I, according to Snipper Free, this person is predicted to have white skin, which I trust Snipper Free much more than Ysek, and I also think this person had white skin, which is why I depicted him with white skin. He was heterozygous for the Pro 319 Pro SNP in DRD2, which means he had a slightly increased risk of schizophrenia compared to Europeans, but a slightly decreased risk of schizophrenia compared to everybody else outside of Europe. Uh, to my surprise, he was also a warrior with the IE, which is very interesting because this is a very European genotype to have and it's not really found outside of Europe, although, uh, you know, this person did have quite a lot of European ancestry, it's like one third of him is European. Essentially what this genotype implies is that the person has advantage in memory and attention tasks because they have uh, slower reuptake of dopamine and more dopamine builds up in their system. Uh, the disadvantage is that they are less stress resilient. He did not have derived OXTR, so no sociopath gene. He also did not have derived EDAR, so no East Asian facial features for him. He did not have the European lactose persistence mutation and was likely lactose intolerant. When it comes to polygenic illnesses and traits, he had a very high, in fact probably top 1% score for Crohn's disease, a pretty high score for schizophrenia, he had a above average but not so high score for type 2 diabetes, a below average risk score for bipolar disorder and a average risk score for Parkinson's disease. Now we are moving on to his GD match results. This is what he is scoring with Eurogenes K13. With the oracle for this calculator, he's closest to Pashtuns from Afghanistan and he can be modeled as a mixture of basically Pakistan and Afghanistan groups with Northern Caucasus groups. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K36. The majority uh, component is components are South Asian component. Uh, what can I see else? South Asian component, South Central Asian, North Caucasus, and West Caucasus are the majority components that make up this sample. Uh, this is what he scores with Harappa World Calculator, which is said to be the best calculator for South and Central Asia. With the Harappa World Oracle, he's closest to Pashtuns and can actually be modeled as a mixture of Pashtun with a little bit of North European. As you can see, Pashtun plus Belarusian or Lithuanian is there, number 10 and 19. It's not much of Northern European ancestry, but it's a little, he's a little bit more Northern European than the average Pashtun today. Here is his result with the MDLP K16 modern calculator. According to the oracle for this calculator, he is also closest to Pashtuns and can be modeled as a mixture of uh, North Indian groups and Caucasus groups. And finally, here is his result and oracle with MDLP world. According to the oracle, he is closest to Pashtuns and Tajiks and he can actually be modeled as a mixture of Baloch uh, people with Northern Europeans. So this shows you that relative to the Baloch, Pashtuns have more Northern European ancestry, uh, although Baloch actually have a little bit too. And here is the official G25 for this sample that you can find on Explore Your DNA. Um, this sample is actually closest to Tarkalani and Utman Kel, which I think are uh, Pashtun groups in Pakistan rather than Afghanistan. 
Uh, I know that Yusuf Zai are in Pakistan, for example, and Quram is, I think, in Pakistan as well, I'm not sure. And relative to the previous sample, you can see that this sample has less European admixture. He's got 29.8, which is 30 plus 6, 36% of European related admixture, whereas the previous sample had 40%. Now moving on to the topic of whether or not they resembled Europeans or South Asians more. Of course if I choose South Asians from like North India or Pakistan they're going to be closer to them. So let's choose the extremes. Uh, Northern Europeans versus the extremes of South, South, South Asia like uh, Andamanese for example. So they're much closer to all the uh, Russians and Arcadians. Arcadians are in Scotland. They're much closer to Russians and Arcadians than to Andamanese for example. And they're pretty much equidistant from Northern Europeans and Tamils in South India and Velamas. So they are pretty much in between the Northern Europeans and South Indians in terms of genetics. Now, of course, I gotta state the obvious. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. Uh, give me suggestions for future videos in the comments. And you can also download both of these samples in 23andMe format from the link which is going to be in the description.